Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another 12-12 AD Siege Battle for you today and today in this glorious 2v2 here at Odessa we have on the defence we have Austria and today they are being joined by the Holy Crusaders of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. They clearly have God's will on their side here today as they fight against some fellow Christians. We have the Duchy of Brabant here and they are being joined by their liege lord, the Holy Roman Emperor. So yes, this is going to be a hell of a siege, Enemy I'm sensing it. We already have about 11 to 12,000 men on this battlefield, I'd say more like 12,000 and it should be a glorious siege battle here. Adessa is a pretty fun siege map to fight on and we do use it quite a lot. And there are sneaky ways that you can get around and get into the very heart of the settlement if they Our want to. But yeah, I'm Submit looking forward them. to seeing how this one goes down. Already Brabant is going straight on in there and they are taking on some, uh, some Pavi Spears, it looks like from Jerusalem. I've been told that there was, uh, this was sent in by a member of my Discord, and I've been told that there were some certain rules that they had to obey to. So there's no late tier units. So we're going to see no tier 3 units, hopefully. Otherwise, someone has cheated. And there also is a rule of no pikes or pole arms. So we're not going to see any sort of choke point battles filled with pikes or pole arms. So it's all going to be swords, spears, axes and cavalry today. And I'm looking forward to it, that's for sure. I'm surprised that we don't have any gunners. I imagine gunners, I don't know if gunners are banned as well, um, but certainly I feel like Brabant has tier, tier two gunners. That's for sure. But yeah, we've got a lot of tier one, like free company longbowmen. It's not a bad alternative. Uh, the longbows are, you know, like the machine gun of the uh, medieval era. They did do a very good job. I uh, haven't seen any artillery either apart from trebuchets, so no like cannons or anything like that. Kind of surprised by that. Again, there are tier two versions of uh, that available, uh, like the Bombard, but no one has decided to bring any of that either. I mean, the Holy Roman Empire is not a bad choice for like a, like a non-tier three faction because you get tier one swords like these guys here, the Dismounted Imperial Ritter, which are badass to start with. They're also basically a shock infantry. They have a double-handed sword, and are very, very good in both, uh, well, in melee, really. I was about to say both melee and range, but they don't have a bow. That would be very OP if they had a bow as well. But yeah, the HRE has landed over here. These dismounted Imperial Ritter with their Silver Chevron already in there, and they're taking on Sergeants. Oh, these are Tier 3. So someone did cheat. Someone did bring Tier 3. So uh, They weren't supposed to bring late units, apparently, which I presume was Tier 3. But Austria has very much definitely brought Tier 3. So I don't know. But yes, if you want to send in your own replays to feature on uh, my channel, feel free to join my Discord. The link is down below in the description. That is the best place to join if you want to get involved in some Total War battles or just send in your own Total War replays. Again, here, what do we have? We have yeah, some Tier 2 there. So did Austria just make a mistake and bring like a Tier 3 Sergeant? No, he brought all of his swords, I think, a Tier 3. Kind of a shame. Oh, he has got gunners though as well. Uh, he did bring. Yeah, Austria has tier two gunners. Okay, he's got the the Butch Schutzen here. But, Butch Schutzen? I don't know if that's how you say it, but there you go. Then we've got the Bogen Schutzen. They're all firing up there, and they are doing some damage to these dismounted Imperial Ritter here. The long line that they're trying to hold, fight across here. See how this goes. Whether the Holy Roman Empire can punch through all these spots or whether their spread out tactics of fighting across this entire long wall is going to end up with them not actually getting anywhere. Yeah, the Dismount Imperator is losing decisively. I mean, it's against Tier 2 Shock. Shock is actually, you know, designed to have really good melee stats, the foot of Gle Glevner. But we'll see. Bringing more towers up here. I mean, we've got, yeah, more dismounted Imperial Ritter landing. Basically, any sword unit, I think, is basically a shock unit for the uh, Holy Roman Empire. They just spam those guys out. Over on this side here, we also have, like, sergeants of the band. They're losing in a fight here to Pavis.
does seem as though the shock infantry up here. What do we have up here? This might have been Templar Knights. Okay, so already throwing up some elite troops are the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Throwing in their fabled Temple Order, the Templar Knights. And these are the shock infantry variant, the tier two variant. Very nice. See these guys slice and dice through them. And they're fighting, I thought they were fighting uh, spears from over. They're just fighting sergeants equally just as easy to kill. And they I mean, already got triple bronze chevron. They are going to do some good work. And another one's been thrown up over here as well. More Templars going in. Templars must do their best. They must hold on. We've got the Longbows here trying to influence the fight, trying to shoot over the walls, trying to hit these Templars. I don't think they're really achieving much. The crenellations of the walls, I'm sure, are giving some ample protection to these guys. The Sergeants have to pray that they don't get massacred here, but they're probably going to. It doesn't seem like this first wave at all is having any success here. For the, uh, Brabant, for the Duchy of Brabant. And also this artillery piece is still freely able to fire. And it has been able to look at... I mean, it's taken out a whole siege tower here. That's not good. I don't know what it's trying to fire at now. Over on this side here, it seems like the uh, Austrian player is slowly getting kicked off the walls. These fush neck spears here getting killed off by those shock infantry-esque swords of the Holy Roman Empire. The dismounted Imperial Ritter still slicing and dicing through their German brethren. There you go, they've broken there. So the yeah, spears, I mean, they were probably going to lose those uh, swords, really. I mean, they're trying to swamp this foot gl uh, glevna now, which is, if anything, only going to give these uh, archers and these gunners down here more opportunities to just fire onto them. What have we got here? Yeah, the bogus shots and stuff. They kind of look, they look pretty good for actually. Got quite a lot of armor, you know. It looks like they've got a small shield on their back, so they actually might be quite a handy unit. Yeah, they're still firing up there. You can see the angle of what they're firing onto. Focus down those boys. Someone's general's under attack. Uh, oh. The Templar general is right up here. Templar bodyguard, what is he coming for? I don't know whether he's just coming up to do some uh, abilities just to like scare off the uh, the units fighting on the wall. I don't know. That might be the case. Sergeants here have been killed. Very nicely done. But yeah, I don't really see anything. I mean, they could sally out. This gate at the back here often sees a sally. Sally out here, go round, and then maybe try and go for a an attack here. But I don't know. Seems like the defense that set up here, uh, the defenders might actually in like interrupt their own charge if they tried that. Spears on the wall here, these Pavi Spears sergeants are getting sliced and diced. I mean, Shock Infantry does very well against Spears. I expect no less. On the other side over here, I mean, what have we got? That's actually, well... Yeah, Sergeant's here fighting against dismounted Cyprian Knights. And though they haven't really properly engaged. Seems like both... Well, Austria, to be honest, has got a little bit more off the walls. Oh, and we're seeing a charge here by the Jerusalem Knights. They've actually found a Holy Roman Empire unit that's managed to get off the walls. Always send spears off the wall first, in my opinion. You send anything other like swords or shock, or like these guys, which are basically both, they will get flattened by cavalry. You can see here, look at that. Pretty brutal already. Yeah, this is a silver chevron imperial ritter. That would have done a lot of work. And said the Cyprian knights are just going to repeatedly charge it. I don't know. I don't know if they've got any spears. Oh, they do. They have some spears. They're just a long way back. They need to bring those guys up. We're seeing actual shock as well on the wall here. Axe sergeants. They're losing. They're only tier one. No surprise they're losing to the more elite tier two. Fuller than ever.
And the Austrians here are on a bit of a charge. They're breaking through these axe. Sergeants here are not up for a fight. I think they've actually been routed. Yeah, everything on this wall. Wow, look at that. All of the Home and Empire's infantry there have been routed so quickly. But yeah, it seems as though what I was going to say, uh, Jerusalem's gone for everything defends the walls, while Austria's kind of gone for a little bit, like, defends, like, on the walls. Well, I guess Sami's more stretched out. Austria's got troops off the wall, though, as well, that he can send up, or he can just use to retreat and hold, like, another layer. If Jerusalem does get, find himself, like, broken through, He's got nothing really defending over here. I mean, luckily he is like carving up these Brabantians quite nicely. And Brabant keeps sending up more Pavi Spears for him to butcher with his uh, Templars. I mean, I don't want to know how many kills these Templars lost, lost. How many kills these guys have got because they are literally like hardly untouched. And they're just slicing and dicing those guys there. But yeah, if, if Jerusalem was to be broken through... They have nothing to defend the streets. Everything's trapped on the walls currently in combat. <laughs> Looks like they've won again. They've routed that sergeant. The problem is with the wall combat, it seems in pathfinding. Units don't seem to know where to go after they've been routed. So they just kind of stand there and get chopped to pieces. There's no chance of them really returning. Cyprian Knights over here, they're fighting it still. The Pavi Spears more worried about what's coming from above than worrying worrying what's in front of them. They've got all the, got their shields up like fools. How much is in reserve for Brabant? They've got a lot of... They're bringing up their shock now. They have better shock than the Holy Roman Empire, it seems. I don't know why HRU didn't bring his tier 2 shock. Just went all tier 1, it seems. It's, uh, it doesn't matter if Brabant is not tier, tier 2 there. They should do some work. They're getting shot as they come up, though. We've got some decent cab back here, but you've got to find a breach for them. Why the trebuchet hasn't tried to open one of those up? Either trebuchet's in, I like to use in a siege. Either use them to knock down a wall... Um, which it can do, or you can just use it to just try and burn the city inside, and that does a lot of morale damage. Currently, no settlement damage has been done, but if you do start to do settlement damage, it can do some outrageous things to defenders' morale. The Pavis here squashing these poor Jerusalem spears against the side of the wall. It's a shame that you can't like push guys off the edge of the wall like you used to be able to do in the OG Total Wars. Archer fire coming, jeez, where is that from? Oh, it's from the Cyprian crossbows here. They're running and firing at the same time. That's pretty impressive. And they might route these Pavi Spears. Look at that, 124 of them left. Might route them. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of routing uh, Brabantian units here on, the, on this wall, actually. It's not looking too great. They're getting a little bit more progress over here we'll see this amount of Brabantian knights going into the fight will certainly help the f that cause there Roman Empire over here does it also seem like he has much left he has another dismounted Imperial Ritter he can send forward he's got some more oh he's got has brought tier 2 dismounted Imperial Ritter good good you're gonna need those you're gonna need those for sure you've gotta chop through the remaining defenses let's say another okay we've got dismounted Imperial Ritter here on the wall as well Yes, I've been told that this battle is super close and it comes down to the last 120 men. So if you're still watching, definitely sit back, relax, get yourselves some popcorn because this is a blooming close one. But these uh, shock infantry, the folk than ever, they're starting to die to the more healthy and fresh dismounted Imperial Ritter. And 
It seems like the sword variant of the Imperial Richard as well also started to do some good work here. Keep slicing and dicing them for the Emperor. Looks like they're going to break through though. These tier, these tier three sergeants, which are, should not have been here, have down their are, uh, are uh, finally breaking. It shows that the tier three stuff has probably had a great effect because it seems like the Holy Roman Empire is almost out of all troops. I mean, to be fair, so Jerusalem seems like he's done a good job with well with his units, but. Yeah, oh, here we go, artillery. It's starting to try... Why went for flaming shot? It's less accurate. It might do less damage as well. I think he's trying to take out the tower, I think. Or the wall. I don't know what he's trying to take out. That was a good hit, though. Spicy hit there, burning some Jerusalem troops. And Braban keeps pushing forward here. Getting right into the faces of these Jerusalem infantry. I can hear Cav as well below. What is, where is it going? Templar bodyguard is just running along the line, just trying to rally his troops. I don't know. Doing what needs to be done, showing his face on the battlefield. Yeah, these Templars must be getting insane kills. They're still in the fight. They're still fairly healthy. This is not, I mean, look at that as well. This Brabantian shot kit already wavering. It's still really healthy, and it's got like chevrons as well. How the heck is that happening? But we are starting to see Brabant starting to win on this wall here. They are finally having some sort of luck. Uh, if they can get this knight, this Brabantian knight along the wall and maybe into the spears, they could probably kill most of these spears off. So that fight around. I mean, they are doing a lot of damage with the artillery up here. Both threat to friend and foe, it seems. Uh, it seems like they nearly hit hit their own Pavi Spear there. Yeah, I don't know how these Brabantian Knights are losing precisely. Whether it's Arsh Towers? This is a shameful display. Slice and dice these Spears, boys. If they wanted to, if they had a ram or something, they could have destroyed this gate. And they could have just rushed through something quickly, trying to capture it, like a weak infantry unit or something like that. They could have maybe captured this gate, or even a spear unit, something like that. Um, because Jerusalem has everything on the wall. There's just cavalry at the bottom. If it was a spear unit, yeah, you'd struggle to you'd struggle to uh, dislodge it with the cav. Yeah, look at this. Brabantian Knights starting to win. Starting to kill off these Frankamati spears. And it looks like Brabant is starting to have some success. I mean, look at this. This is a huge mass of infantry here. All that's holding them back is one Cyprian knight. It's not looking good for Jerusalem. Over on this side here, though, doesn't it certainly seem like Austria is having a good time of it right now. It seems like a lot... I mean, for some reason, the Roman Empire has all their stuff really scattered about. I don't know why they have a sergeant spear all the way back here, just defending nothing. Uh, they've got a lot of cav as well. Three units of Imperial Ritter, not including their general. Um, so... Yeah, that's a lot of cav. Uh, maybe too much cav. I don't know what the funds were in this, but they don't need that much cavalry. Oh, and the precious Imperial Ritter is starting to get killed off now. And there you go, it's gone. Dead. That might be the last hope there was of success for the Heroin Empire. I don't know, we'll see. These Hanseatic infantry here, they'll be next into the line. Men flee the field of battle. Well, infantry up here. They, they've got to fight play. spears. Push neck spears. They're a heavy spear unit. They might be able to take out the... Uh, well, they should probably take out the crossbows, to be honest. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. Dismounted Imperial Ritter here, they're killing off some archers that foolishly went onto the wall. These bogs, 
Bogan to Schutzen. They run out of ammo, so they're like, screw it, we're sending them in. And oh boy, they're just milking those kills of those dismounted Imperial Ritter. Slicing and dicing them. I mean, Austria and the Holy Roman Empire, like, later on date, become the same entity, really. This is a bit weird seeing the two fight each other. And there you go, yeah, those spears. I mean, it's routed the cross, or routing these crossbows very easily. I, I don't know, actually, this might be a different unit entirely. But still, they're doing a good job. They're doing very well at the moment. What have we got back here? Still got that trebuchet back there trying to fire. And seeing some Cyprian knights also getting hit by something. Probably artillery, I imagine. And the city is starting to get damaged a little bit. Hardly a lot, though. It's not looking good, it seems, at the moment for the Jerusalem. Jerusalem might be about to lose his whole infantry line on this wall. Well, and then it, Home Empire, I don't know. It's still very much in the balance over on this side here. Both sides are very much uh, just battling for these walls. I mean, this is kind of the best strategy in 12-12 at the moment. It's just to, I find, just fight for the walls as a defender. It's much harder to hold anything else. My gosh, when everyone puts their whole armies on a wall, it does make it grindy. Look at this. I mean, both sides are slamming in infantry here. I mean, some of these are retreating as well, but... Yeah, it's rough. And it'll, any shock or anything just get put up on the wall gets taken out by these crossbows here, which are probably done a lot of the damage and responsible for most of the damage here to the Holy Roman Empire and its army. The crossbows able to arc, they're just so much better in sieges now. Hanseatic infantry got off the wall. I don't know if that was like, just they rallied there or what, but the uh, Austrian general taking some, uh, taking a chance to get a kill here. General's bodyguard. Oh, someone seized the gate. There you go, Brabant now holds the gate. Can they not? Now is the time to rush in their cavalry, and they're doing exactly that. Brabantian knights, soldiers are all going in. They just need to negotiate those stakes, and then they're inside. And then that could be the beginning of the end for any sort of resistance on this side here Enemy by the uh, Kingdom of Jerusalem. I mean, they like solidly hold this side over here. If you're going to charge anything down, charge the Pavis. I'd like to see a cav unit charge into those Pavis spears. They are. I'd imagine they're capt couching it back, but they're not actually. I would have thought they'd have the units to do it, but apparently not. They're trying to artillery this dismounted Brabantian knight. Here we go. Look at that soldier. It is inside. And now the knights of Brabant can fight. The remains of Jerusalem here. Oh, oil. Oh my gosh. It's doing so much damage. I. It's on their side. It must be like just like a. Uh, Random infantry unit just running out, but that's a lot of dead cav actually. That was unfortunate. They got the other Rabanti knights in here. Yeah, now look at this. Gonna be able to squish these uh, Cyprian knights between spears and cav. The general's in here as well. Templars trying to do their bit, trying to help out their allies or their comrades. They might rather that cav, you know. Might not be enough because the infantry is off. They won't be able to constantly charge, or, or will they? Austria's coming in from the other side and he might be able to sandwich Brabant here. In he goes, slamming on in. And the cab's gonna hack and slash all this infantry down here. Look at that, so many units on a route here. Horrendous. Poor Praban. Whether some of these will re rally, I don't know. I mean, they might just get ridden down here by, uh, by Austria. I mean, what are the numbers now? 1,600 versus 1,800? I mean, 
Our Roman Empire is going to have to turn this around somehow. Austria is also charging into the Roman Empire. Oh, these are Brabantian knights. Didn't realize they got all the way around here, but yeah, some Brabantian knights. They came down here, and as you can see, Austria is now charging to them. A general has fallen, though. Jerusalem is now without a general. Will we see a mass rout there? I mean, it might not matter because they look like they're mass routing Brabant right now. Brabant is just down to archers on this wall here. And he's fighting shock infantry. His whole entire infantry force shattered by the cavalry charge down here. I mean, it's a lot of dead cav, but it doesn't matter. They did their job. Fighting for the uh, fighting with the camera here for this wall angle, a pain. You can see the longbows <laughs> all going into combat now. I like how they were firing while trying to be in combat, like point blank range sort of stuff. Yeah, they're getting killed off. Can the other longbow get out of there? Need to stay out of combat as long as possible. Shoot as much of this cav. Maybe get another general kill if it can. That'd be good. I don't know if it will. I mean, the Roman Empire over here has a lot of cav. If they recapture this gate. The there you go. The gate's back under control of the uh, Kingdom of Jerusalem and Austria. So I was going to say, if they got their, got their uh, gate over there, if they got the cav over here to this gate, they could have maybe got an even bigger cav push, but kind of wasted, unfortunately. The Holy Roman Empire does definitely not look like they're going to be taking their gate anytime soon. Didn't realize there's still more infantry for them to land. They're landing a spear sergeant. Yeah, it seems like the shock infantry here, tier 1 taking on tier 2. Actually, the tier 1 is going to win this one, incredibly. A lot of the Brabantian soldiers seem like they're re-rallying, but it might not matter because it looks like Austria is not going to give them any sort of respite. Going to charge into them once again. Heavy spears there, they're getting routed fairly easily. You need to be careful. Their own cab is now getting uh, covered in oil. They do need to be careful. And they're going after the trebuchet here, which is going to be an easy kill. The band is basically finished. We are seeing what we're seeing here. Imperial Ritter come over. Maybe they can deal with this uh, Austrian cab. Don't know if they'll be able to save the artillery crew. In goes the Imperial Ritter riding down this cab. This tier two Imperial Ritter, it is. Oh, that's definitely going to be any sort of cab that they're facing. Also, seems like Jerusalem sent out his Cyprian Knights. He might want to get those back inside because, uh, yeah, Imperial Ritter here are clearing stuff out. I mean, it is close, but I don't know how much they can really get done at this point. They're going to need to somehow take a gate or open a breach. Um, I don't know if they even have ammo left. Yeah, this trebuchet is full ammo. It needs to start firing at something. Like, it's been wasting ammunition if it's not firing. Like, open up a wall over here or something. Get your cab inside. You then stand half a chance. Seems like... Well, they, they routed the uh, Glevner here, so they've done a good job. They, they kind of stuck on the wall until they can get rid of this cavalry. Which they can't get rid of. We have a sergeant over here, which is... Well, it's a tier three sergeant. Again, it's uh, just defending the gate, I guess. There's not, there's not really much it's doing, really, apart from that. Austrian crossbows fighting, well, Home Empire crossbows. Hanzianic infantry against Soldner Armbrutschutzen. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm saying it. I'm just going to call them crossbows, to be honest. Let's go the other way around, the other angle. It's more bright. 
shock infantry going out. Well, it's not even shock infantry. I keep calling it that. It's just not that. The Ritter going back in. Those nasty swords. And if they're going to send in crossbows like this up against this uh, dismounted Imperial Ritter, they'll do just fine. It's been here, though. Spear Sergeant's actually... I did do exactly what I recommended. You take your spears off the wall first. And it didn't actually work. Fair enough. Maybe it doesn't always work. It usually works for me. I also would probably just get crossbows or some archers up onto this wall and try and dominate it so the cab stays away from the wall. But you can't have everything, I guess. You can't have everything. Yeah, there's really not anything else really over here. Jerusalem is all but out of in like, well, Brabant's all out of stuff. So is Jerusalem, really. They are down to pretty much nothing left. They've got crossbows and like one fairly healthy Templar Knight, which is still going strong. Taking out archers now, be easy kills for them. These white uniforms that they're wearing must be covered in red blood of their enemies. Yeah, there you go. The archers being killed off. These free company, yeah, Brabant, gone. Properly now, I think. There is really not much le left. I mean, enemies have... Less than 700 and dropping. And there's about, what, a thousand left defenders. It's going to be close. Somehow there's still 13 minutes in this replay. I'm not quite sure how. Either, like, just all of a sudden just drops off. And there's just no fighting. Or both sides can have a lot of troops re-rally. But I don't know if they can really. We could be waiting 13 minutes for this trebuchet to open up a breach. It is at 3% now. Oh, 26 is one. I think that's their aim, is to try and open up a breach here. Yeah, got it at 30%. Don't think they'll do any more than that at the moment. So go back to... Go back to the infantry fight, which has just ended. Imperial Ritter here are... Looks like they're either going for the crossbows on this side. I don't know... Seems like they don't want to engage the Templar Dismounted Knights. It's probably a smart idea. These guys are known killers. They just killed probably a bit between three to four hundred men. Yes, yeah, so I think we're just going to be waiting patiently now for this trebuchet to open up a breach, and then we're going to see the Imperial Ritter Cav go rushing on through. We'll see how it goes. I mean, that's a 41%. Yeah, it's rally. this part over here that they're going to try and bring down. 50% and it's still got a good amount of ammo. I'd say about 50% left. Looks like we're about to see the swords going against the shock. And then that might be our only fight for a little while. While we wait on uh, the shock in the, the uh, trebuchet to open up a wall. I don't know who I'm rooting for, though. I don't know if I'm rooting for the attackers or the defenders. I feel like I've got to root for the attackers because they are a bit of a significant disadvantage. Yeah, not much else going on. They're just patiently waiting. I mean, the breach is at 76% now. I think they should probably knock it down. Trebuchets, I feel like, just take a lot longer to uh, to do it. Our men have given we'll up see, but yeah. Men are giving up, are they? Might happen, to be honest, uh, for Jerusalem a little bit more because they have no general, but we'll see. The uh, Dismount Imperial Ritter, the Tier 1, losing to Tier 2 t Templar Knights. I mean, they have a Silver Chevron as well. These guys are machines right now. They literally are. Uh. 
I thought maybe we were going to see a Cyprian Knight sally out. Maybe go and try and take out that uh, artillery. I don't think they have any chance. Probably the most well defended artillery in existence. Here we go. Templars. Keep slicing and dicing. Get rid of these damn Imperial Knights. When they knock down the wall, are they going to take... Oh, they might actually take out... It's 88%. I don't know if these crossbows should really be here. I don't know. What I think they're trying to fire at the other crossbows across over here. Try and get that angle. They have helped route the... Uh, well, the swords are gone. This man Templar nice dealt with them. But yeah, I don't know if they should stand here because there's about to be a wall come collapsing down here. There you go. They were lucky. They were lucky with those Cyprian knights there. But there you go. A breach has been opened. We're going to see a charge now from the Duke of Raban and his Roman Empire allies. And whether they can break through. I mean, Raban's power, it's still pretty even. It's going to be close, that's for sure. Like, things like uh, crossbows are going to make a huge difference in this fight. I mean, Duke of Raban looks like he's going to go through the breach without an issue. Got to face Cyprian Knight. And here we go. Head on charge. There's the Duke right in the front lines with his coat of arms. Ban probably will lose this fight. He's got the less healthy Cav. We're now seeing more Cav as well get in here. They're getting this Imperial Ritter here. It's tier two. It should be. Well, actually, this is tier two as well. We'll see if they can get their shock infantry or some of their crossbows down to help in a melee fight. They've got a chance. And there you go. Brabant's general's dead. That's huge. We've also got Austria's general in here. If they kill, kill him off, though, that is a bit of a, a loss. Austria has a fair favor. amount of infantry left. Jerusalem, you've got to remember, has no general left, so they could just brow at any moment. There you go, they've been committed, and I think now Brabant, oh, not Brabant, sorry, the uh, Empire should send in its final unit here of Cav, well, not final unit. Is it final? Second to last? Second, oh, no, they got another one here as well. Wow, they are using the trebuchet to great effect to try and take up this Cav. Yeah, it gives good charges there. They can get into all these crossbows. I mean, they're routing almost instantly. Get these Cyprian crossbows, or they're just going to go straight up. And, yeah, I would do the same. Just run up and go and get the trebuchet, the thing that's actually doing damage to you. Like, that is super accurate. It's taking out so much. Nearly, well, 20 cav units there. There you go. I think also Austria's general is dead. Well, he's certainly routed. He's probably going to die in a minute. And now they're going into crossbows. And all of a sudden... This battle is looking ever so more likely that the attackers are going to win it. Imperial Ritta in here as well, the uh, Emperor's bodyguard. They just need to storm and take the uh, take the cat point back. Take the cat point. Taking out display. one trebuchet here. I'll go and just charge the other one at this point. I don't know if you'll take the crew out effectively in this little corner, but yeah, just de get them off. Yeah, I mean, look at that, see. This is what I'm saying. You, gotta, you can't hang around here. Move on to the next one. Just de-crew them. A unit's ammunition is spent, and it can no longer fire. Run, 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 run. Gotta be careful. I mean, this cab is yeah, getting hit hard. Oh, my gosh. Every, like, shot right now is just painful. There you go. The crew, are they going to run for the walls? I think they might try it. Yeah, look at that. The trebuchet crew are running for the walls like, ah, oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Run. Yeah, they're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. And they got routed almost instantly. Nice. That's one trebuchet gone. The other one hasn't really uh, limbered up. 
and the Cav here is doing all sorts of problems. Uh, one of the Imperial Ritters over here has been killed off. The artillery is still alive. Oh, we should not be firing in here, though. You'll hit your own Cav. It's all that's keeping this game going right now. The siege is coming down to cavalry. Kind of incredible, actually. It's 319 against 180 here. And, are and you can see they're trying to cap the point now. At least that is going to do some damage to morale, um, which is going to be a big, big win there for the uh, for the attackers. But the defenders are going to need to re come, come and retake that. They have actually managed to kill off this Imperial Ritter. That might return. It certainly won't be the same. Crossbows are nearly all out of ammo. Now is the time, yeah, to shell out uh, these guys with your artillery. They can take out this cav unit then, it's GG, because they have nothing to protect, protect the cav charges themselves. I mean, these are two healthy-ish Imperial Ritter units here. They should do some good da some good damage. Yeah, I don't know what the, cro the crossbows are going to try and... Well, I thought maybe they are going to charge outside and go and take out the artillery, but it's out of ammo now. Who gives a damn? Well, I guess it's 40 guys that if you kill off, that's uh, a lot less, it's quite a bit less men. I'm oh, losses might come into it. Yeah, 170. Look at that. If I know it, down to 130 guys, they would be. Imperial Ritter here did return. I'd wait patiently before going back in, let it rest up. Uh, like, all you're waiting for is this uh, time to go down, but it looks like they're going to go straight on in. Looks like the Home Empire ain't messing about. Here we go, cab charge. I don't know if it's going to be even worth it yet. They got like one volley off with the crossbows and that actually did all the work. Cav here did not need a charge in. But yeah, here we go. Home and Empire is bringing down its other Imperial Ritter. Whether they're going to just charge into the uh, Cyprian crossbows here, I don't know. I think they are. Here we go. Race. Brutal charge. Crossbow bolts firing in here. Yeah, they basically annihilated that Cyprian crossbow. That might route and then break. But like I said, well, both defenders now have lost their generals. Um, looks like the Home Emperor is going to hold on, wait until he captures the point. I mean, it seems like the Imperial Ritter right now is doing a good job. It's killing off a lot of these uh, crossbows. It's routed the uh, Austrian cavalry that remained. Gonna, no, it has been routed. I thought maybe it was going to cycle, but no, that's what the Glevano are doing there. They haven't quite captured the point either, I don't think. Yeah, it's still held by the Duchy of Austria. He didn't quite take it. Have to rule that, and that could make a huge difference to morale. Like, because they get the morale boost as well. Look at this. Here we go. Charge. Home and Empire. One last throw of the dice. 200 against 111. The men have given up and are running for their lives. There you go. It's, it's basically... Well, the Cyprian crossbow actually didn't do too bad. If they dismounted the crew they have, they're going to need those 40 guys. Like a little rear charge from them might make a difference. You never know. Glevin are here. If they break... It should be GG, because then you just have to cycle charge all the cab. There you go, just cycle charge now with the Home and Emperor and you win. That's all you have to do. I mean, like the Cyprian here might break itself. The Home and Empire is losing its general right now, is it losing in a combat. It just needs to get out and just recharge, and then one charge will be enough to break these guys here. My gosh. Yeah, it looks like... Looks like they're recapping it. I don't know. It looks like it's been recapped. That looks like there's uh, more blue than there was last time I looked. There you go. He is going to recycle out. 
got less than 40 men left, but it should be enough. This uh, Trebuchet crew has just got to stay alive. It is losing, but it's just got to stay alive. But the Holy Emperor is starting to waver, though. He needs to just rally. Yeah, pop a rally if he can. Great charge. Looks like he's going to route that Austrian crossbow. If he routes that, then he just got to get this one in a rear charge. And then that is GG, I think, because the, uh, yeah, the cab is gone. My right, gosh. The they are going to win this. Indeed. Look at this. 60 versus 60. And just like the that, yeah. Jerusalem's crossbows break. And it's a valiant defeat for Jerusalem and for uh, Austria as well. But we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. My gosh, that was a super close one. Thank you, Storm of War, for sending this one in. Literally came down to cavalry. Insane. Um, but yeah, so Storm of War was playing as the Kingdom of Jerusalem in this one. He'd actually did super well with his uh, Templars. I mean, 714 kills these Templar Knights. Insane. These guys did 353 with another one. These guys got 1,000 kills themselves. It's Frank Amati Spears getting 199, 220 kills with the Cyprian Knights, 230 with another one here. Cyprian Crossbow is getting 208, 212. Yeah, some like amazing kills. Uh, I mean, 220 kills with the Cyprian Knights and 112, uh, 102, sorry, with the Trebuchet there. Very nice. And then we have RWX playing as the Duchy of Austria. 154 kills with the General's Bodyguard. 245 kills with his uh, Glevner here. 302 and 220. Some like super kills there with the Shock. Uh, his Spears did okay, 85. His Sergeants, which I'm pretty sure he wasn't supposed to bring. I'm pretty sure he was supposed to bring Tier 2. Uh, 228 kills. 176, 174. Some solid kills there. 370 kills with the Crossbows here. 368 kills with the Glevner. 102 with another one there. Yeah, some good kills. Then we have Bressman playing as Brabant. 140 kills with the Brabantian Knights. 228 with another one here. He spammed out these Pavi Spears. Like, absolutely spammed them out. I don't know if this is a, a wise idea in, a, in an attack, really. Um, yeah, none of them did that well. Neither did his sergeants. Uh, his Cav did okay with 147 there. But yeah, really rough game for Brabant. Then we have Wandetta playing as the Holy Roman Empire. And he spammed out these Imperial Ritter, as he should, really. Uh, 272 kills with that home emperor general before, uh, well, just as the end, the game ended there. Very nicely done. 103 with the imperial ritter. Very nice. 114 with a sergeant spear there. 138 with the dismounted imperial ritter. Uh, 147 with another one there. 226 was the best of the bunch though. Cro crossbows getting 165, 105 kills, and it's imperial ritter. 182, 152. Not too bad there at all. But there you go, guys. That is today's 12-12 AD Siege Battle. It literally came down to cavalry. It was insane. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, do remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new on here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.